Hello and welcome to this episode of All Things WDW. Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I've got some big news and this is probably the biggest exciting news uh, coming out of Disney World um, that I have seen in quite some time. Well, of course, besides Star Wars Land, which I am super excited about that. Um, Toy Story Land is going to be cool too, but uh, an Avatar, but the the idea that a total immersion like Star Wars is going to be awesome, and um, as soon as I have a little bit more information about it, I'm going to do a segment on it, but uh, for right now, anyway, um, uh, let's uh, get with the news um, about a new mode of transportation going to be coming to Disney. We all know Disney uses buses, boats, and the super cool monorail to get everywhere. Well, we're going to discuss a new thing that Disney's going to do to the resort and how this is going to impact uh, your future goings at uh, the resorts and if you might stay at a different resort because of this. So we'll talk about all that and more right when we come back on this episode of All <laughs> So, we're excited here at uh, All Things WDW. Um, I've always wanted to ride in one of these gondola things, and I think it'd be kind of cool. Now, some of you might remember, let's take a trip back to the past. Instead of going back to the future, we're going to go back to the past. Now, check this out. This is a video from way back. We're in the way back machine here. And this is a video from the 90s. Uh, that was taken on Disney Skyway attraction, which closed in 1999 at uh, the Magic Kingdom, and I believe it closed in 96 at uh, Disneyland. I may have my date wrong there. I have to check on that. Now, again, these were not ADA compliant. They weren't made for wheelchairs. You sure couldn't have gotten a scooter on them. They were a ride for fun. They weren't a way to move people, really. I mean, yeah, it allowed you to get to and from... Uh, Fantasyland and Tomorrowland and back, but that's really what they were designed for. They weren't um, a transportation system. It was a ride as such. And they weren't, again, they weren't anything special. Uh, and you have to remember that this is like 1970s, 80s technology, not now. So anyway, I believe that, like I said, we did some research, and I believe that this is the case that we're going to see this. Right now, Disney has three modes of transportation besides walking. Uh, bus, boat, monorail. The monorail connects the Magic Kingdom resorts, the Magic Kingdom Transportation Ticket Center. It's not going anywhere else. It, The line is built. It's done. That's all it's going. The Epcot monorail goes from the Transportation Ticket Center to Epcot. To upgrade the monorail system would cost in the uh, hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. I couldn't even uh, fathom the cost because when Las Vegas built their monorail, they spent somewhere around, I believe it was $500, $600 million. Um, and that was an easy task. They're building on desert. They, they don't have to worry about swamp land. They just, in fact, whenever they built the Epcot monorail system, they actually spent more than twice the cost, the estimated cost that they were planning on uh, in order to build it. So here's something to think about. Had they known how much it was going to cost to build the Epcot monorail system, would we have an Epcot monorail system or would we still just have the monorail around the Magic Kingdom resorts? Who knows? And if it wasn't there, what would they have replaced it with? Because you know, they would, you know, what would they have done uh, in order to give something else besides just bus transportation? Who knows? Now we have the boat transportation, like from the Wilderness Lodge, and then of course your Magic Kingdom, other Magic Kingdom resorts, to and from the Magic Kingdom and each other in the Transportation Ticket Center. We have boat transportation at the Epcot resorts, to and from Hollywood Studios and Epcot. Uh, but And that's it. We're not going to see boat. Well, and then, of course, from Port Orleans, Old Key West, and Saratoga Springs to downtown Disney or Disney Springs. But that's all we're going to see. They're not going to expand the boat system either. Um, I mean, I, I would be cool if they did, but I just can't see them doing it because unless there's already a waterway system that is there and maybe they just needed to shape it a little bit or 
um, maybe something I just can't see them adding it because the cost of building a new waterway system is just as you know is is expensive too maybe not as expensive as the other but also um, look at here's the plans let's go look at the plans here are the plans now look at this it starts at the uh, International Gateway at Epcot goes up and over the boardwalk and then makes a right turn in the parking lot at the boardwalk and heads over to Caribbean Beach to build a waterway here um, yeah it could be done they could go uh, over to Epcot and come in there's a, a a back dock area that you don't see uh, behind the Africa station but when you go over that bridge right there but and then it looks like they would stop at Caribbean Beach and then the big T there would be looks like where the monitor where the gondolas would either go to Art of Animation or from Art of Animation on to Caribbean Beach on to Epcot or to Hollywood Studios <clears throat> and so forth so it looks like that would be your major junction zone um, and again these are amazing and I mean they're in use um, over at New York's Roosevelt Island Tramway the this is one of the ways that one of the many ways that residents and tourists in New York used to get to and from Manhattan uh, London Emirates uh, Emirates Airline system takes travelers in a cable car across the river there so Again, and then there's uh, one in Hong Kong, there's one in Vietnam, there's uh, one in Breckenridge, Colorado. Uh, <clears throat> so these are nothing new. Um, these are very efficient. They're the maintenance. I did some research on it. The maintenance on these things is is very little. Um, it's kind of like an electric car versus a uh, gasoline car. Your maintenance is is a whole lot less. Now, the, the initial expense of the gondola is going to be expensive, although much cheaper than a monorail or building a boat system. But, um, again, if they build, if Caribbean Beach becomes a DVC resort, then they will be able to, just like at Animal Kingdom, if you're a, a DVC member there, there is a little bit of a charge in your maintenance fees. A little bit of that goes to help the savannah and the animals and so forth. Uh, well... They could do the same thing there. You, uh, a little bit of your maintenance fee would go to help keep the gondola system going. And then, of course, they could raise the price a little bit. Wouldn't have to do much, but they could raise the price at Art of Animation and Caribbean Beach just a little bit um, for having that form of transportation. And then what they would do is just like at the boardwalk or at the Epcot resorts, if you stay there, it is boat or walk. There are no buses that go to Epcot or Hollywood Studios same thing would be there there would be no more buses that would go to Hollywood or Epcot you would simply take the gondola system which would be more efficient now Disney says that they always have projects in various stages of development across their resort and if a project moves forward they will share the details when it makes sense to do so for their business well this leads to nothing more than um, or leads to nothing more than being a rumor however there's no doubt that Disney's always looking at ways to get guests to its properties from its 27 different properties on site to the four theme parks, water parks, and downtown Disney. And, you know, Disney welcomed more than 50 million people through its turnstiles in 2015. So improving how guests can get around the massive property is essential. And an overhead gondola system would be something that could be very feasible and with again with zero maintenance it could last many many years into the future remember that uh we have toy story land coming in 2018 and then star wars in 2019 to hollywood studios this will bring a huge influx of people to the park and then epcot disney has said that they are working on plans to do a major renovation upgrade at epcot uh following the renovation at Hollywood Studios. So, uh, Disney's planning in the future and they are already working on getting those upgrades. And so, this gondola system, they're planning ahead and saying, okay, this will alleviate a lot of bus traffic from these two major resorts and um, could, you know, and there's nothing saying that people from Pop Century couldn't walk over the bridge and over to the gondola. Probably if you're at the back um, area there, it wouldn't be any further for you than uh, walking to the front of the resort to wait on a bus. So, and again, as you saw in the video, these are a continuously running system just like the people mover over Tomorrowland. They don't stop. And so they can move 
3,000 or more guests an hour. And with Disney, I'm sure they could make it do more. So, um, and they're very safe nowadays. I mean, again, these run consistently in London, Hong Kong, Vietnam, Colorado, and other places without ever, without a hitch. So I don't see any problem why they couldn't do it at Disney. And here at Disney, we're not going uh, clear over a massive river like they are in London. So anyway, I think that'll do it for this episode of All Things Disney. I am so excited to uh, have you all here and watching and uh, really appreciate it. And make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you are always up to date on all things WDW. We've got some more videos coming. I've got some videos on touring plans and how to save some money at Disney. But uh, we've got some hotel uh, review videos coming as well. And, uh, of course, how you can stay at a deluxe resort for less than the cost of a moderate, saving more than five, dollars $600 over a seven-night stay. Um, all coming soon, as soon as I get them edited and uploaded. But I've been so busy, I apologize. So, so have a wonderful day. Have a magical day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.